Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new part. And I'm going to sleep. Well then. Sleep. I think sleep is good. Yes. Oh wait, no, we got a text. Hang on, who is it? Hey, it's me. What up, you? I mean, uh, the root. root. What up? I just can't forgive Madarame, but what Aunt said made me think. Okay. Yusuke, are we just a bunch of thugs? Probably. I knew it. It ain't like she thinks it is. It pisses me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while, while shitty adults do whatever they want. Yeah. Sick. I I'm not wrong, am I? You're right. Thanks. Don't yeah. tell on I called you, by the way. Uh, seriously. Okay. Well, see you tomorrow. Uh, okay. I foresee no issues with this encounter. It's gonna be fine. We're all gonna get along nicely. We're just gonna have a nice little talk. All right, I contacted Kurokun about modeling for him. Still waiting for his response. Thanks. I'm really have no idea what I'm supposed to do as an art model though. Uh, cover yourself in paint. Can you at least try and take this seriously? Look, you don't gotta go out all for this. You're only doing it so you can get dirt on Madarama, remember? This is true. It sounded like Kurokun wants to be a private picture of his though. Well, I guess I'll let you guys when he contacts me again. I got a response from Kitagawa-kun. Okay. He said he wants me to come over after school today. All right, let's go. Perfect. Probably dropped all his plans just to get you over there. We need to find out from Kitagawa-kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Okay. Hey, quiet down. It's that student council president. Talking to Mishima. Hmm. Yikes. She got old of Mishima today, and it'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, I'll split up. Okay, see you later. Are we splitting up for looking at clues, or are we just. Okay. We finally landed a big target. Come on, let's get some dirt on Matarame. But man, Mom's late. Sorry. Oh, so. I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. Thinking about what? Don't you think Kitagawa-kun has to be protecting Madarame? Probably. And they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Madarame's true nature. The only reason I can think of him doing that is that Madarame has something on him. Damn. Yeah, that's weird. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. Oh, good. Are you prepared. Prepared for what? Something seemed different about her to you? Uh... Not at all. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. I feel like she's got more makeup on or something. Nope. I'm the same as always. Huh. Well, let's get going. Hmm. Talk to Yusuke. Kitagawa-kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Once he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Madarame. I thought it would just be you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, poor Yusuke. Would you get nervous too if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Oh. Huh? Is there a problem? No, not really. Well then, let's get started. You can take your clothes off. Hey. Kitagawa-kun? You hear her? I think he's concentrating. It's no use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? Yeah, why would an artist just suddenly concentrate on their work? What the hell? Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Hm. Who do 
you think you're talking to? This is too boring, so I'm going to scout around a bit. Hmm. It's weird how flashy that door is. And is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? Are you done? It's no good. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. Oh, no. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. This again. And that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... Oh. I knew it. Oh. Your sensei seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. Jesus, R Yusuke. I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, Yusuke, you need you not Yusuke, Ryuji. You need to be more I'm diplomatic sure when it comes to these things. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. I mean, did you Sensei set it? is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Uh, of course. Still. Hitogo-kun. <sighs> then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? Ah. Uh. No victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. And the other pupils? Oh! I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? But what about the other Don't pupils? Ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Of course, that's how that works. Hold it! We're not done talking here. I think we're done talking. You leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? Uh... Yuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! Duh! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? You I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. Oh, uh, okay. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you are willing to bear everything to me. Oh, wait, what? Sorry, what the f I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever. What? Nude? Ah. Uh. To think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. Okay, yeah, this took a time. You two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some inconveniences. Oh! Nude? Meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Uh, yes, yeah, crazy. Because those are my terms. But that's Ain't that bad? Since he is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely, I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, uh of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans, but please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean. Why are you not listening? Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no. We are not done talking here. All right. Hey, what should we do? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, damn it. He got us good this time. 
Well, yeah, it's mainly your fault. Done being a model? A cat? You moron. He's totally out of his mind. I'm gonna have to pose nude if this keeps up. Yes. How dare that you skate? The way he said it, it's not gonna be semi but full on nude. Oh yeah. Uh, 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 full nudity? Yes. Yes. Drop it. You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Yes, the other students. Lady on, you're fine with bearing it all? Okay, Magana, you, you're stuck I on the wrong. You, you're stuck on the wrong Madarame's thing. Madarame's no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke, who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No. It is frustrating to leave this alone. Oh, yes, it is. Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Yes. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses, too. Before he ends up like us. Right. Wait, wait we what? Need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet, too. Probably. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Yeah, yeah, we'll scratch that. We, we got other fish said to fry. Be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? Oh. Uh, uh, probably. No way. Hell no. We must deal with Madarame, no matter what, before his exhibit ends. All right, let's do this. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so. Uh, where to meet up? Let's see. I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarama's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. Okay. Hey, uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh... Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. Oh. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have oh. you heard anything about that? Uh, Ryuji knows. Me? I don't know nothing. I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. No, you're fine. Wait, what's this pet? I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? Sure. See you then. I guess we should go home for today. Yeah, I guess. Whatever, I still can't forgive him. Demanding to paint Lenny on nude, then claiming to report us to the police. That's crazy. Hey, it's me. Got a minute? I have some interesting news. Someone who received a change of heart contacted me on the fan site. Oh, okay. He said he wants to meet with you to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. Another change of heart? You're better off talking to him in person if you want specifics. All I know is his target is a terrible person. And that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. The guy's name is Nakanohara. Nakanohara? That's Madarame's student. Yes, it is. I told him to approach you. Good luck. Oh, why has he done that? I found something insane about Madarame. Sounds like 
the, a student of his offed himself when he couldn't speak up about Madara stealing his work. The journalist was looking into Madara too. It could be real. Someone died though. No one talking about it. I bet it was covered up. I wonder if Karikun had heard anything of him. Anything. It could be great if he could help us out. Ain't it asking a bit much? After today, he's probably going to be on edge about us. Well, anyway, Madarom is still a piece of crap. Let's meet up tomorrow. I'll be at our first time at the new hideout. Isn't the passage right in Shibuya right? I've got it. See you guys tomorrow. If the rumor Ryuji just spoke of is true, there have to be other victims. Yes. Okay, well, let me get, make some uh, infiltration tools. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably just going to make some lockpicks. Yeah, we'll just make some yeah. lockpicks. No, I... I don't want... Lockpicks. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Yes! Yeah! Yes! Yes. Yes, you're definitely getting better. I can tell yeah. just by watching you. Yeah! Okay, let's go to bed. Oh, oh, alright. Cat. Well, oh, don't forget, from today on, our hideout's gonna be should be a passageway. Oh, that reminds me, should be a two, should be a two, two. Yo. We're about to head to the hideout, too. Who's that? Excuse me. That's Nakanohara. Mishima told us to meet him here in Shibuya today. For real? Shh. My name is Nakanohara. Natsuiko Nakanohara. The one who was posted about on the Phantom Aficionado website. He seems pretty nice. Doesn't seem like the stalker type. Yeah, because we changed his f***ing heart. The administrator of that website contacted me. They told me to look for someone in a Shujin uniform with a cat. So, what do you want? You may have already heard, but there's someone I wish to trigger a change of heart in. An artist by the name of Madarame. <gasps> you think this is it? Is the pupil gonna confess his master's secrets? His shadow did mention Madarame as well. I'm one of Madarame's former pupils. Go on. He gave me lodging at his home, where I thought only about art. I genuinely wanted to be an artist. There was another pupil as well. A very talented man, multiple years my senior. Obviously, Madarame kept tabs on him. Everything he made was claimed as a Madarame original. He wasn't the only victim, though. Oh, no. Right. We got some real proof of the plagiarism. In response to Madarame's actions, that senior pupil committed suicide. Jesus. Suicide? He must have been unable to bear seeing his work praised under Madarame's name. That was when I disobeyed Madarame's orders and left. But he quickly pressured other parts of the art world, and my life as a painter was destroyed. Jesus. I tried to turn over a new leaf working at a ward office, but it was no use. My attachment to art warped my emotions. Soon I began getting attached to everything. And that's when you became and attached to that person. I even turned into a stalker. <laughs> I'd like to ask again, please. Make Madarame have a change of heart. Not only for me, it's to save the life of another man as well. Save their life? Even now, there's still one young man remaining under Madarame's tutelage. Oh, we know. I think he's about your age. That has to be Yusuke. Not only is he a talented artist, he also owes Madarame for taking him in after his mother passed. He is the perfect target. So Yusuke's got no choice but to listen. I actually spoke to him a few times back when I was still living at Madarame's. I asked him if he found it painful to stay with Madarame. And you know what he said? If I could leave, I would. Oh, God. Kitago Akun. I have no right to say this given my prior cowardice. But I don't want to see another suicide. I don't blame you. way to save this young man. He has a bright future ahead of him. Please consider that when thinking about changing Madarame's heart. We've been asked to act directly on behalf of one of Madarame's victims. It sounds like we don't have the time to deliberate whether or not to change Madarame's heart. No. 
Hell yeah! Matarami's just a piece of shit who preys on the weak. Suicide. I'll never let something like that happen. Plus, we finally got to hear how Kitagawa-kun really feels. Well, since we've reached a unanimous decision, how about we continue this at our new hideout? Sure. I'm totally gonna... S My fellow thieves, welcome to our new hideout. I mean, it's a our pretty busy place. Is Matarame. We all saw that palace. We'll pay dearly if we assume it's just going to be like the last one. And furthermore... Lady An's chastity is on the line. Okay, she's posing what? nude. No. Nope. We'll need to do what we did with Kamoshida. Okay. First, we secure an infiltration route in the palace. All right. After that, we send our calling card. Once the treasure has materialized, yes. we steal it. Oh, oh, I got a question. Uh, Matarame doesn't know that we were doing stuff in the palace yet. Why are we already getting treated like criminals in there? You're learning, Ryuji. Yes. Well done. It must be because he doesn't trust anyone. Any unknown person may as well be an enemy. True. Or maybe he's just super salty from all those rumors that have been spreading about him. Then his palace being so crazy had nothing to do with us? Either way, we should stay on our best behavior. It'll be harder for us to steal the treasure if we needlessly increase the security level. Okay. We need to be careful of Kitagawa-kun this time, too. Yes. I'm sure that whatever he sees will just get passed on to Matarame. Exactly. That's right. Hey, what is Matarame's treasure going to look like anyway? Another crown? I doubt that, but my sixth sense will know when I see it. Oh, yeah. You go completely nuts, huh? Yeah, he does. Our time limit is when the exhibit ends, right? That means... June 5th. Oh, we got ages. We'll carry out the plan after we've sent out the calling card. So our infiltration route will need to be set in stone two days prior on June 2nd. Yeah, that's fine. Now listen here. We can't mess this up, no matter what, okay? Okay. All right. Well, uh, before then, uh, we're just gonna exit. I got other stuff to do. Huh? Yeah, that's all for today. Yeah, I'm sorry, I gotta... I... have stuff to do. Oh, look at that, there's a velvet room down here. Ho oh, ho, let me, let me just go inside, hey. hey. Yep. Jesus. What the f <laughs> It seems you got used to coming here. You must surely be accustomed to infiltrating palaces by now. Somewhat. Regardless, you have yet to obtain a truly acceptable number of personas. This is not the full potential of the power of the wild card. Hmm, I suppose this is a prime opportunity to help further your rehabilitation along. Rehabilitation along. Don't worry, this assignment is not mandatory. Think of it almost as a test of strength. What is this no. assignment? We'll have you bring us the mask we specified. Huh. You you just gotta show us the persona we asked for. First off, we would like you to bring us a Jack Frost. <sighs> That's too easy, Justine. It should be a challenge. Um, I want it to have Mabufu. Listen up, inmate. You got that, inmate? Bring us a Jack Frost with Mabufu. Farewell. Okay, very well. Please speak to us again when you have it. You're not, this will not be mandatory for your rehabilitation, but you will be handsomely rewarded for it. I encourage you to at least try your hand at this. Okay. I'm just going to return to reality. No Go back and enjoy your break. Thanks! Yeah, go back and enjoy your break. Right, I'll go back and enjoy my break. Hey. The war rate gets the stranger people act, like that perverted high school teacher. Has anyone ever studied the correlation between the rise in temperature and a rise in weirdos? So what are you here for today? Uh, I want to do a clinical trial. 
I made some more refinements to the medicine. Could I have, could I have you come in? I feel like I could, could become closer with Tokamese thanks to the death persona, Mandarake. I feel like, yeah. Hang out with her. Well then. In that case, go into the exam room. So this is the Takumi's medical clinic of internal medicine. I'm glad it's still open. So I have a child I need to have oh. examined. Looks like I have a patient with an emergency. And? So why come here? Aren't you under the care of another hospital? I heard rumors about this place. I'd like for you to examine her. She was dying over with bronchitis, but the medicine was given and hasn't been working at all. She has a fever that won't go away and she's losing weight because she's not hungry. A young girl losing weight is definitely not good. You should go to a bigger hospital. I can't provide a, provide a thorough examination here. We've been using a big hospital, a Unifer hospital in East Shijukin, but all they tell us is it's persistent bronchitis. A Unifer hospital in East Shijuki. The doctor there performs exams like he's on an assembly line. I think he's famous or something. A famous doctor, huh? I'm just a general practitioner out here in the sticks, as you can see. I don't have any stuff. Wait, I heard there's a medicine that can only be acquired here. Please, I'll pay you. Please, at least just examine her. Hey. Hold, hold on. Cough, cough. Doctor, my chest really hurts and I have a deep voice for some reason. Doctor Takumi will help. What? Doctor. <sighs> Fine. Hmm. Is your vision blurry? How about your throat? Does it hurt? Hmm, no signs of swelling. Are you sure you told me everything about her symptoms and treatments you've tried so far? Yes, I'm sure. Hmm. Hello? Hey, uh, uri -san, it's Dr. Schwartz there. There's something I'd like to ask about a case that was in last month's medical journal. I see. Guess the ones in stock will have to do. There's a shelf by the reception desk. Bring the contents of the second drawer into the exam room. You will need to help me administer the medicine. Also bring the breaker with a red label in the fridge, a towel, wash basin, and measuring spoon. Fine. Well, what are you waiting for? Get get moving. Oh, Jesus. Thank you so much. I didn't expect her to recover so quickly. Hmm. It was a very unique strain of infectious disease. It can't be detected by conventional exams. I will temporarily suppress the symptoms. We'll make adjustments as her condition improves. Okay, that'd be one million yen for today. A, a million yen? That's outrageous. You're completely taking advantage of... I mean, all right, I agree to pay. You don't take credit cards, do you? I'll go withdraw some cash right now. <laughs> what? You're actually going to pay? By the way, the famous doctor you mentioned, was it medical chief staff or Yamida? Are you familiar with him? I knew it. In that case, I'll make this free of charge. F free? <laughs> <laughs> Do you seem happy? <laughs> Does it feel good treating his patients without permission? By the way. Thanks for your outburst, Adria. I'm going to put a very special example on you today. Uh, so he's your assistant. He seems awfully young. Yes, my assistant, guinea pig. He's, he's about to put a lot in a hard work today, aren't you? Oh, Jesus. What the f***? Is, is this a Persona game or something else? Alright. We got death at rank 4. All right. Your death count has increased to rank 4. You will now earn more XP from a... Uh, yeah, okay. I'm doctor. Can I go back to school now? Not for a while. You need to start eating and regaining your strength first. Can you do that for me? Yes, thank you, doctor. Don't mention it. Your turn. I wonder what kind of response you will have this time. Maybe you won't be able to make it home. Jesus, what the? I feel the cooperation in, in this, that shady clinical trial has increased my guards. Bye. Okay, good work today. What have I done? How are you feeling now? Today's drug was kind of a rough one, huh? But maybe it was just what my careless little guinea pig deserved, huh? Especially after approving that girl's consultation without my permission. I'll, I'll reflect on my mistakes. Good boy, but I'm only letting this go today. Don't pull anything like that again. 
The drugs does seem to be more stable compared to the earlier stages, though. It probably is thanks to your cooperation. Feels like almost I'm um, feels like I'm almost there, so try not to die just yet, okay? Alright, take care. I'm gonna I'm gonna f die, aren't I? Hey, we're heading out. This place is closing soon. What? But I want to watch TV. There's a special on that guy they call Detective Prince Akechi. They're still doing the news. You'll make it home in time. Besides, you can see his face anytime. That pretty boy's on TV a lot lately. Well, thanks for the coffee. Okay. Alright, time for the crossword battle. I'll play a little, alright? Just let me let me do the crossword. Where art is shown off and sold. It's on our gallery, but I guess they just mean gallery. That's crazy. I've got it, the answer is gallery. A room or corridor where the artwork is on display. The gallery is, is also the area where they observe groups together of all sorts of events from court to golf tournaments. You can also refer to society at large, especially in regards to the major majority opinion, or even a passageway made by an animal, such as the tunnel system of a mole. All right. Oh wow, even I couldn't figure that one out. Nice. Maybe you got a bit smarter after solving those crossword puzzles. I solved one, you let me solve one. BS. Right, well. I'm going to stations there. You can't, you can't, you can't stop me. All right, where is this guy? Oh, there he is. Please continue there has been, I have to say. there's been far too many incidents recently to ignore. Can anyone deny this? The runaway train incident, mysterious psychotic breakdowns, a school with a corrupt teacher. We have yet to discover the truth of it all. The apathy that permeates society is a direct result of negligence by our government and the media. You. You're listening quite attentively. Are you interested in politics? I am interested. Are you a student? I'm delighted to captivate the interests of someone of your age. Hmm. Have I seen you somewhere before? Oh, you were working at the beef bowl shop before. You have a lot of present. Uh, a young person. If you'd like. Well, if you're interested, I could use your help. I want to change the state of this country, and to do so, I need the power of the youth. However, due to certain regulations, I can't offer a job to a student. I was thinking you could learn some new things if you choose to attend a few of my speeches, though. I'll be glad to. Really? That would be helpful indeed. Well then, would you mind telling me your name and contact information? You're a student from Shujin and Kaming. It's nice to meet you. I am not going to pronounce that. I used to be a member of the Diet, but no longer. In the past 20 years, I've lost seven straight elections. This isn't good. I'm dwelling on the negative right before my speech. Well then, I hope I can count on your help immediately. Everyone. The lines of what is considered right and wrong in society today have been blurred. With common sense no longer our guide, we make decisions based on our selfish wants and desires. This has resulted in a deluge of self-centered people who delight in taking advantage of the weak. However, in the modern day and age, it is imperative that we act in the best interest of all. A world where it is acceptable to trample on the rights of others for your own benefit, a world where the young exist only to be exploited, is a world where that must be changed. <laughs> Easy for him to say, old timers like me have our hands full taking care of ourselves he's actually making some good points but he's a known name he probably won't get too far nothing's gonna change we'll, we'll just keep getting exploited what's this one person blabbering about now he isn't affiliated with a party how about you just leave matters of state in the capable hands of the liberal property party jesus you mustn't base your decision on who to support many according to the party they belong to i'll oh, just shut up already you're just a washed up politician <clears throat> If I am chosen to represent the will of the people, then I'm for, then I am fully prepared to. 
in the best interest of all, huh? Save that palavering when you get elected. If you get elected. Thank you. That is all for today. Well, what do you think of my speech? The best interests of all. I'm glad. Indeed. Do you feel the same? Such as I am. I like to believe that I'm capable of giving a moving speech. However, there are times like today when the audience has a different of opinion on a topic. Some feel I should concentrate on getting elected before I write about others. Do you agree? You have my support. Thank you. Q. It's encouraging to know that my message has won you over. Besides, I've grown quite accustomed to those types of reactions. No. Although, I don't know if that is necessarily a good thing. Regardless, no matter what they say, I must continue on. I think I can learn a lot about listening to you shoot his speeches. Well then, I shall see you again Perhaps soon. I'll ask every impression again sometime. It's the 19th. So, it's you. So, it's you. You did, you did use, use it. this line before, now that I think about it. I hope you understand. Allow me to warn you again. Don't involve yourself any further. I'm totally am. Um, Don't play dumb. I'm saying you're an inconvenience. I won't forgive you if you continue making a mockery of my senses. I totally am. This is a warning. I feel like we're going to become best of friends. Sometime in like May. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. The great artist Madarame is holding an exhibition in Shibuya right now, isn't he? Yeah, I've gone to see his work before, but wow, they are truly incredible. I saw some of his interviews too. He's a really charming fellow. It is rare to see a gentleman artist like him in a field known for having a lot of eccentric types. By the way, you seem far removed from the arts, Jarvis-kun. Which famous Yukai artist of the Edo period is said to have moved residents over a hundred times? This guy. This is it. Correct! Oh, it seems you know a thing or two after all. Hosokai had a habit of moving, but he also changed his name quite a lot, at least 30 times throughout his life. His sole interest was his art, so he stayed in poverty, wore tattered clothes, and lived in, squal in a squalor. Hey, did you get that question? I wasn't even close. Yeah, yeah, all the school teachers glaring at us. Nice, well, you must be really smart to answer that. Yeah, it's crazy. crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm super smart. Actually, Madarama's house was quite modest too. All master artists, past and present, always put their art above their fame. Ah. He steals his students' work, makes them suffer. He's no master, he's just an abusive old con man. We're gonna get him, no matter what. Hey, hey shouldn't you tell the others to talk about the target Madarame? Uh, or mementos. Well, what I think I should do, Morgana, is call it there. Thank you so much for watching this part. I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye. Morse. Marvelous. Together on the track. Let's go. Red sus, red sus. Red sus, red sus. Red sus, red sus. Red sus, sus. Red sus, red sus. Red sus, red sus. Red sus, red sus. Red sus, sus.